Story number one. Be me, 17 at the time. Be in high school with part-time job. Job is feeding cows for grandpa. It's early winter. Gets darker sooner that PNG. Get cow feed and everything on work truck. Go to first farm. Already dark. Forget keys like tarred. Fuck my life dot X. Grab two buckets at a time. Walk them 40 yards over gate. Whistle to stay upbeat and because autist. After getting done, head back to truck. Barely hear noise over leaves crunching. Sounds like someone learning how to whistle. Weird, but animals or something. Next couple days. Keep hearing the whistling. Coming from my pa's property across the road. Notice over these days, it's progressing. The whistles are getting clearer. Whistle goes from blowing slash quiet whistling to loud two fingers and mouth getting attention whistling. Still think it's birds or something. Think about it at home. Realize the whistles were mimicking my whistles. Okay, well, maybe it's a bird still. Two days later, come to second farm gate. Have keys this time. Dark as fuck that JPEG. Drop keys trying to open gate lock. Say, damn it, when I drop keys. Feed cows. Come back and hear gurgles and animal moaning. Coming from the other farm across road. What the fuck? Decide to investigate because it might be a dying cow. Hop fence and start walking. Property goes uphill. Woods get more thick as you go. Keep walking and hearing animal dying noises. Kinda paranoid because dying sounds. Sounds change, kinda. Go from moaning slash gurgles to moaning and mumbling. Kinda getting more scared now. Keep going, but slower. The noises keep changing and start sounding like a person. Now, I think there's a homeless man. Less scared, but still pretty scared. Approximately 30 yards from noises. Sit down to listen and think of what to do. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Homeless guy is saying damn it. Sounds like 60-year-old smoker times 10. Keeps repeating damn it over and over. Notice the tone and inflection is getting lighter. Oh fuck dot mp4. That's my voice. Really scared and angry. Stand up and start creeping uphill. Crest hill with phone light on. Yell at the noise while climbing hill. Gets over hill and stop. On the edge of my light is a humanoid figure, squatting in front of me, eyes glowing really bright from phone light, still telling myself it was a person. It comes closer. What the fuck am I looking at that PNG? Best way I can describe how I felt was uncanny valley feeling. Its head was much larger than a normal person's head. Eyes were very large, and the eyes glowed yellow and green. Its neck was too long. That's the best way I can describe it. Really skinny. Holocaust skinny. Very tall. I'm sitting there, no noise, staring at this person. It's slowly standing up while looking down at me. At least two feet taller than me. I'm 6'1". While staring at me, it says, Damn it. In my voice one more time. I just turn and run. Can't hear anything behind me. My legs have lost all feeling. Hop fence, get in truck, and leave. I went back, and the days after that happened, I heard the whistling again. This story literally happened five days ago, last Saturday. Be me, five days ago as of writing this. Decided to bring my girlfriend, my friend, and her exchange student boyfriend from Finland, and my other friend who's a bi Hong Konger. Strange, I know. For context, because this may play into it, I don't know though. I shot a deer that morning, skinned and butchered it. And I brought it to my family farm, a different farm from the first story. To drop it off for coyotes to finish off or drag off. My friend who we will call RF, Russian friend. She's a Stacy friend, but I love her to death, so I don't give a fuck. My girlfriend will be called GF, of course. My other two friends will be called 
HK, Hong Konger, and FB, Finboy. We drive out to my farm and it's around 6.20 p.m., quite dark already. We get there and are driving towards my already established camp area. RF mentions something along the lines of, <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if we saw a skinwalker, Anon? Immediately tell her to shut the fuck up. Don't say that shit out loud. RF apologizes and agrees that's a bad idea. She's sorta X and K mix. FB. Wait, what is a skinwalker, Anon? Me. Shut the fuck up, FB. I already told RF to shut up about it. He proceeds to keep bantering and pestering me about it. And I'm basically forced to tell him about the legends and stories. Finally, he shuts up about it. And looking back, there was already a sense of paranoia from just talking about it. We drop off deer carcass and guts deep in a woods, about a football field away from our camping spot. We get the spot, set up camp, chairs, food, fire, and we chillin'. Me and my girlfriend notice that we need more firewood. We get in my truck and drive to a brush pile we have on the property. Collect wood. I'm chopping wood and my girlfriend stops me. Girlfriend. Wait, Anon. Me. What's wrong, babe? Girlfriend. Shh, listen. We hear movement in the trees. Not light movement either. It stops and we kind of just continue getting wood. I'm thinking in the moment that it's probably a horny buck chasing a doe. Come back with wood. Fire lasts probably another hour or two. This all happened from 6.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. Me and my girlfriend leave for firewood again. We get there and we're joking about what if something is out there. We laugh and gather wood. While I'm chopping a log to break it up, I smell something. This sounds so stereotypical, but I swear to whatever God is convenient that it was like this. I stand up and take a deep breath to catch my breath. A foul smell vaguely wafts into my nose. Roadkill slash wet dog slash rotting garbage. Damn it. This is some K shit, I think to myself. Brush it off, but keep it in the back of my head. Come back and we're eating, drinking apple juice. Martinelli's gold medal choice grade sparkling apple juice, to be specific. Love that shit. Anyway, we chillin', and FB brings up the skinwalker shit again. HK pipes up and they start talking amongst themselves about as well as RF. Me and my girlfriend look at each other and just say, fuck it, they're gonna do whatever. The tension in the air is getting more and more palpable. The air just feels heavy. RF. Wait, where are the wood sounds? Me. What do you mean? At that moment, I noticed it too. God damn it. More X shit, I'm thinking. RF is getting more and more afraid. She wants to leave. I tell her to chill, it's all good. I was also afraid because this isn't normal. But I didn't want to scare everyone. I was the guide. The one who knew the area and the most responsible out of everyone, except my girlfriend. HK and FB are getting scared as well, looking around and behind them. We have cows on my farm, and we would hear our new bull, Kaiser, getting his nut on. RF would always ask what it was, and I would rationalize it. It kept happening that I was put at ease. I'm sitting back enjoying the fire, when we hear a howl slash yip. RF. What is that, Anon? Me. Coyote, they won't come near. They're afraid of humans. It sounded like a coyote impersonating a rooster's crow. That was strange, I was thinking. Coyotes don't really make sounds like that in my area. They normally just yip and howl. And it was only one coyote. It keeps going and I get super annoyed. Boy, fuck off, eh? I yelled at the top of my lungs at where the sounds were coming from. When it stopped, my heart kind of dropped. I can't tell you why, but I felt the rush of fear and adrenaline pump into my veins. Me. There, it stopped. The sound went off again, and it was much, much closer. It went from a kind of ambient sound to being 50 yards from us. I'm kind of shitting bricks. I can hear it much better. It doesn't sound like a normal coyote. More of a human interpretation of one. Super cliche, I know, but I'm being dead fucking serious. RF, FB, HK, girlfriend and I all look at the direction it came from. RF. 
fuck this, she said. She got up and FB calmed her down. I stood up and watched the area where I was coming from, slowly fanning the area with my eyes, looking for movement in square formations. Looking at a section of darkness and looking in a square formation. I keep looking and I see movement and it's big. I could tell all my friends and girlfriend looking to me for guidance. Without looking at them, I tell them to start packing. FB. Anon, wait. What's going on? Me. I said, now. I told HK and RF to start gathering the trash and food. And I asked my girlfriend to get my axe and tools and put them in my truck. Me. FB, come with me. We're going to put out the fire. I grabbed my bucket and started speed walking to a pond not far away. I get there, and the sounds kick up again. It's moving. And now, it's 30 yards from us. FB. What the fuck is that? FB is looking into the woods. I grab the bucket, and him, and run. I put out the fire and tell everyone to get the fuck inside. As everyone is getting in, the sound is getting really frantic. It started sounding like screaming. Human screaming. We drive off and leave the farm. Everyone is quiet, and I'm slowly going down the dirt road. I rolled down my window and stuck my head out to listen. Utter and disturbing silence. I hit the gas and take off. Later, I talked to my girlfriend about what happened. She told me that she could tell something bad was happening before the sounds. She said my posture would go from relaxed to stiff and alert. I talked to FB and I asked him what he saw. He told me after some persuading that he saw a figure in the darkness moving around. And for context, before that night, he had never heard of a skinwalker. I have a few more stories if you want more. Story number three. Be me. Probably 12 at the time. Be walking in the woods with two friends. We chillin', talkin', and walkin'. Suddenly, hear rustling in bush. Lots of rustling. Holy shit, it's getting louder. We book it down the hill and look back up. All we see is a huge, broad-shouldered, pitch-black entity with glowing red eyes. Not circles, but the apple slice-shaped evil eyes. It has a mist-like attribute to it, kind of like the heat waves of a mirage. It starts levitating towards us, and we take off towards my house, running as fast as we can. I'm pissing my brown pants. We look back, and it's got its arms outstretched, as if it wanted to grab us or hug us. We keep running until we get to my house. Don't tell parents because they will think I'm a schizo. Decide to go to sleep. Wake up, I don't know how long later. I can't move. I can't make a sound. All I can do is look around. I look into the corner of my room and see it. It materializes into existence and just sits in the corner, staring at me. It slowly comes to the foot of my bed and leans over me. That's when a pair of long, hairy arms with black, razor-sharp nails come from what is above me that I can see. And they grab me and cover my eyes. I woke up the next morning and have never seen anything like this again. And finally, my last story. Story number four. Be me, probably 15, 18 at the moment. Mid-November because hunting. I like getting up before sunup to get drop on deer. Walking through old trail and woods. Crunching and my cold icy breaths is all I can hear. Besides that, it's just nighttime and a wood sounds. At the time, couldn't own a gun, so I had a CZ-223. Keep walking till I get to stand. Climb stand. Get to the top and hang my pack from hooks and tree. Take out antlers and grunt call. Sit for maybe an hour. Maybe 40 minutes before sunrise. Decide to rattle and grunt. Rattle, rattle, grunt. After getting done, sit back. After like 20, hear grunt slash wheeze. Oh shit, big buck that pog. Hear horny big buck heading my way. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Stop. Deer fever is taking over 
and I'm shaking with excitement. Beta Cuck never shot Buck before. Can hear the Buck moving around ten yards away from stand. Bated breath as listening. The moon is quite bright tonight, so can see in darkness. Can't see forest floor, but ray of moonlight passes by my tree, low to the ground. Buck getting closer. Get CZ ready. Aim downwards to the right of my stand. Buck is heading literally a foot away from my tree. Can see its antlers in the small ray of moonlight. This is gay as fuck, but at the time, I liked it. My AG class had a contest that if you got the biggest buck out of the whole class, you would get like 200 bucks or something. Moneyboner.x Rack is big, and deer is bigger. Wait till I can see its body to take shot. Can't see anything. Moonlight rays split between two trees on the deer's path, with pitch black where there's no rays. Can't see deer after the rack leaves the moonlight. Can hear it, though. It's going past me. I'm focusing on the sound and not on where it is visually. Focus eyes on where the deer is. See movement and snap my eyes towards it. An elongated human foot and calf passes through the light. Wait, that PDF. Brain kind of just fogs up. I kind of sit there like a tard, wondering what I just saw. Literally, the leg looked like it was someone walking slash crawling on all fours. Brain suddenly realizes what happened, and my stomach drops, and the adrenaline starts pumping. Slowly sit back, trying to be as quiet as possible. My back sits against the bark of the tree. Clutching rifle while semi-hyperventilating, scared out my ass. The fear is straight primal, as if I'm being hunted instead of the other way around. One to look behind me. Don't do it, you fucking idiot. Does it regardless of Brain's input. Slowly look behind the tree I'm sitting against. Look up the hill, scanning the perimeter of the area I can see. Nothing, nothing, red eyes, nothing. Wait, what? Snap back to the eyes. The most piercingly menacing eyes I've ever seen. Eyes have red eye whites, and its pupils are glowing yellow slash oranges. Shits bricks harder than already doing so. Immediately sit back against the tree again. Gripping rifle so tightly that my nails are scratching into the barrel. Kinda pass out. Wake up, and it's daytime. Rifle is still in lap. Look around. Nothing that gif. Basically, firemen slide down the ladder to the stand. Bolt back to my dad's truck that he let me drive. Hop in and drive home at speed of light. I might be leaving out details because this happened way back, and my brain kind of blocked it out for a bit.